Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing well as always. If not, I hope it gets better for you. So today, we are gonna get back to what I was doing over here with the 75 and do something a little different with it. So far, seems like the aphids are for the most part gone. They're still there. And if you guys haven't seen that video, it is the video that was right next to this. So if you're up in the uploads, you can go right to the video that's next to this and you can find what I'm talking about. This was all just covered full of plants. We had to trim it down, try to get rid of these aphids, but I wanna go ahead and do something else with this tank, which I'm about to show you guys now. And a quick recap on this aquarium is the 75 gallon. It's a no filter, it's got discus in it. It's got lots of tetras. Some of these tetras have been community breeding. There's bristlenose placos. There's quarry cats in here. They're hard to see. Um, lots of broken down leaf debris. So this is a super natural aquarium. Just from all of the plants that have uh, broken down throughout time. Look at that humongous root ball on this thing. I know it's hard to see with the glare. There's a killifish in here as well. There's a bunch of catfish in here too. Oh, you can see them barely behind there. The glare is just terrible in here. And that's what I want to fix is I can't really see in this aquarium. I've got to get a flashlight to do so. But I do want to be able to see in here. I know the catfish love it dark like that. I know the bristle nose love it dark like that. Tetris sure don't mind. But I mine, and I would like to see in here, but I want to be able to keep my top coverage here. So to do that, and as many of you did request in the comments down below of the last video, I will go ahead and make a video on this because well, I am planning on pretty much taking a lot of that back. Hey, catfish. All right, so this is what I got. This is what it looks like as it came in. It actually came into a plastic case. But this would be cool and it's got a remote yeah, so. yeah this is an underwater light led light so this should allow me to see in there now so pretty basic let me install this and uh, show you guys and it's just got two suction cups already on it so i just pretty much stick it in there i'm gonna want to put it on the front edge because you don't want it pointing towards the glass because if it's pointing towards the glass you're more than likely to grow algae there and as far as the casing on this it's just plastic tubing i'm not sure why they blacked it out on the back but rubber end caps tight fitted glued on pretty basic led strip just encapsulated All right, at first I pushed the button. Felt real weird, like it kind of like crunched down. But it's working now. It seems to be really dim. You see there's different colors. Green looks weird. The blue looks real weird. Oh, so this isn't that bright. Let me see if I can change the brightness. Now I do have this remote, so. There's the white. It still isn't much light. Oof. Hold on. This is supposed to be the white light. It looks more like purple or blue. What the heck? I'm just wasting my time at this point. Okay, so that's a major fail. It does look cool shining off some of the Tetras and stuff, but... That does absolutely nothing. And that's full power up too. So, 9 out of 10, would not recommend. I will have to uh, try again. But essentially what I was trying to do is find a light. I don't know if you guys know of a good light. But find a light that would be able to shine down. I got these lights up top, which I got two of those. Sunco lights. Uh, they're pretty cheap shop lights. Um, but I need something for underneath the water so I can see under here. Those tetras are like, what the heck? These fish are weirded out. I do not like the color on this. It's supposed to be a white, but it's more of like a bluish purple. The glare is horrible. So, sorry for the not so good filmography and lighting within this. Because, well, it's a battle. It's not always easy to light a fish room. 
Over here it doesn't look so bad. But yeah. Can't see nothing. Oof. So this video didn't go as planned, but I want to go ahead and show you guys. That way it can hopefully save you guys some money or time or effort or any pain in the, you know what. And here's the light that I got off of eBay. It was pretty cheap as you can see. Now the best thing to do is always check the description for the luminosity, but it was only 0.2 watts and it didn't tell you the luminosity, so the lumen power. So yeah, fill on that light, but now I'm gonna go ahead and get this substrate out of here. I gotta get my corkscrew valve planted back and add some water in these tanks. Hopefully these don't bust because I know they're not level, but being their layout should be all right with a little tilt, <laughs> we'll see. And if not, I'm sure there'll probably be a video or an update about that. Anyways, I am planning on making this video, like I said, so stay tuned for that. That one should be next. Just a little slanted. Oh, wish me the best. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for the support, hitting the like button, all that stuff. I can never thank you guys enough. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one.